Boys, here are four strategies you can follow to scoop up easy, free coins in Madden 24. Now, Soul Souls and family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Hope you're watching this one or having a wonderful start to your day. Hope you're having a great week so far. And without further ado, let's get to cooking. Let's get started. Now, really simply, what I'm going to be doing in this video is showcasing four easy tips and tricks you guys can follow to make about 75,000 free coins off of each one. Now, first things first, I'm not going to lie to y'all. This one is probably the most boring tip I'll show in this video. Video, it's really the only solo challenge based tip and in my opinion the only set of solos that give you a nice bit of coin value are the new playoffs ones mythic playoffs and road to victory are absolutely worth it as you guys can see you're getting 85 plus overall player packs you're going to be getting a nice bit of coin value and i think realistically if you play through both of these sets of solos with the 82 plus overall packs you're going to be getting with the 85 plus overall packs you're going to be getting the coin rewards all that good stuff i think these challenges are probably going to give you the best amount of value in terms of coins out of any solo you're going to see in here. So if you need a little head start, you kind of need a little coin value for your team. I would say that's absolutely one you want to play through. And then the other set of solos I would also suggest are just Division Dynasty. Don't play through all of them though. Just get to tier number one. You get an auctionable and tradable 85 overall team builder fantasy pack. That's only going to require you to play through. I'm pretty sure a few solos. Yeah, like eight of them. It's not that difficult. So I would say in terms of solo challenges, those are the two you're going to want to play through. Division Dynasty, get up to tier number one, get that free 85 overall, and then the playoff ones. Otherwise, pass that. I don't see a ton of other coin rewards in here. But now that you guys have done that, that's kind of like the first thing we're going to do for free coins. The second thing is going to be completing some sets, boys. And I think in my opinion, the best area of sets right now are 90 overall players. Now, what do I mean when I say 90 overall players? Well, basically what I'm saying is I think these 90 overall sets in the Unstoppable promo, I think the 90 overall sets in the AKA promo, I think the 90 overall sets in the Most Feared promo are all kind of printing coins at a pretty easy basis. Now, the numbers on most of these 90 overall overall sets are pretty simple. You're basically going to be spending about 60 to 65,000 coins to do these. And you kind of want to find a set that's going to give you a player that sells for about 80 to 85K. If you do so, you're making a nice bit of profit each time. Realistically, if you do that set over and over again, about four, five or six times, that's going to give you 75K of easy profit and easy coins. Now, how do we do these sets? Well, most of them are pretty simple. All of them are going to be requiring 87 overall players, but they are a little bit promo specific. As you guys can see right here with like the DK Metcalf set, for example, it's just four random 87s. With the Sauce Gardener set, it's going to require some AKA specific 87s, and really all these should be printing. So realistically, you can do any of those for profit. I think the one that's making the most amount of profit right now is in Most Feared. You can really do either of these Most Feared sets right here. Whether you want an Arcana champion or you want just like a regular Most Feared champion player is kind of up to you. I think right now the Arcana sets are probably the best because there's a Lamar Jackson card who sells for a nice chunk of change. So yeah, for some reason, it wasn't loading in right there, but when we go on over to the most feared sets you guys will see the arcana fantasy pack and the most feared champion fantasy pack the most feared champion fantasy pack is just 587s this one right here the arcana pack is going to require you to put in some most feared 87s as well as base 87s now in terms of prices let's not get too too far ahead of ourselves when it comes to buying these 87 overall players you're kind of looking for them at about 12 to 13k because that's going to mean you're spending about 60 to 65k to do a set now how do we find these well there's a lot of filters we can look at i would say legends is solid i would say team of the week is solid i would say AKA is solid. I would say most feared is solid as well. And you're really just going to flip between these until you find your deals. It shouldn't be all that difficult. I will say with team of the week dropping in Madden pretty soon here, or actually by the time you're watching this video, team of the week should be live. Team of the week would probably be the best one to look at, but you can really look at any of these again. You're looking for about 12K, even 14 will work for a lot of these. Because as you guys will see, when it comes to the player we're going to be getting, and when it comes to the player we're going to be selling, a lot of the times you can find a card selling for a nice, nice price right here. Like, as you guys can see, I think Jamar Chase is going for about 80k. That looks pretty solid. I think Kayvon Thibodeau looked like he was selling for a nice, nice number right here. And I also think these Arcana champions like Johnny Hecker, very, very solid. Justin Simmons, very, very solid. But the best one right now is Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson's at 95k and we're spending like 65 on the set. Come on, that's criminal. That's easy coins. But like I said, there's actually value in doing a whole bunch of these sets. You don't necessarily just need to do the one I'm doing right here. You can probably poke around and do any of these 90 overall all player sets. We're going to do this one right here uh, for the Arcana champion. We're going to pick Lamar Jackson. And again, we spent about 65K on this, buying our 87s at 12,000, buying our 87s at 13K. And we're picking Lamar Jackson, who's selling for 90. This set right here, I'm pretty sure you could even pick other cards like Justin Simmons, who's selling at a nice price. I think the punter was a nice price, but Lamar right here, 65 to 90. That's easy. We do this three times over and we're at 75K. All right, boys, we'll drop this card off for 94,000 coins. Next up, let's talk about really the only other set of solos you 
and play for free coins. This one's simple. You probably know it, but I just want to let you know in case you're new. Now, before we talk about that real quick, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Underdog Fantasy. If you don't know what Underdog Fantasy is, they are a place where you can make higher or lower player picks on NFL games. Now, on the app, you're basically predicting how well you think a player is going to do. Is the player going to have higher or lower than 50 rushing yards? Like, say, for example, for the games coming up, is Devin Singletary getting more or less than 50 rushing yards against the Ravens? If you think he's getting more or you think he's getting less, you can lock in that pick. And depending on how many picks you get correct, you can win cash. As you guys can see on the screen right here, we won $300 on the Saturday games. We won $300 on the Sunday games last week. Unfortunately, didn't end up with another $300 win on the Monday games. But either way, you better believe I'm going to be making some more picks for the games coming up this weekend. Underdog's a super fun app. If you want to check it out, I will leave it linked in the description. Click that link to download the app. And then once you download it, it's going to ask you for a promo code. If you put in my code, you're going to get your first deposit matched up to 100 bucks. You support my channel a ton and you get a special line for the games coming up on Saturday. If you don't want to miss it, it's all linked in the description. Use code SWIFT. All right. Now, like I said, this next tip is super boring, but honestly, there's not a ton of ways to get a lot of free coins in this game. The next one is playing our legend solos. Again, not going to go super in depth into this. As you play through your legend solos, if you get to tier number 16, you get a full free auctionable and tradable legend. You can literally pick the legends that came out on Saturday just a couple of days ago. You can pick one, you can sell it off. So get to tier 16 if you have yet to do so. With your legend tokens, you go to the sets and you put them in the legend champion exchange. Pretty simple right there. I'll just show you in case you guys didn't know. All right, moving on. I'm not going to lie. There's not a ton of great ways to make coins in this game, but one method that's just been working for so, so long. This has been working for the entirety of the year, boys. All you got to do is go to team builders. And I beg you, I beg you to do this 89 overall team builder fantasy pack. This is the best way of making coins in Madden. It requires 486s and an 84 to an 85. Now, in terms of prices, realistically, you're probably banging this thing out for at maximum 45,000 coins. Find your 86s at under 10K, 8K, 9K, whatever the number may be. It's not that difficult to find them at that price point. And then just find your 84 at a solid price. Again, it doesn't need to be like a world beating price, but just find it at a decent deal. And you're getting this set done at a very, very nice rate. So yeah, for the 86s, I'm kind of just filtering between promos right here. Team of the week is decent. Legends is decent. You're really just buying at about 10,000 coins. You'll find it less a lot of the time, but 10K is kind of your max. And then for the 84s right here, these cards should be buyable at a pretty nice rate. You can probably find them at like three, 4,000 coins. It's not going to be all that expensive to find these cards. As you can see, 4.2K probably isn't the best deal we could get. But realistically, if we're buying the 86s at about like 10K or less, the 84s at about like four or 3,000 coins, we're only going to be spending a maximum of 48K. That is your absolute maximum. But realistically, it's probably closer to like 43 or 42. And then with your cards right here, you're knocking this set out and you can really pick any player. I think you could honestly go with really any card in this game. But if you want to make an informed decision, either pick a player that's got good stats or a player on a team that a lot of people are trying to build their theme team for. So like the Ravens card right here is probably an interesting one to pick. I haven't even looked to be fully honest with you, but I would assume Morgan Moses is a pretty interesting one. I know DJ Chark and Jamison Williams are really, really solid right here. Or even like Spencer Burford right here because the Niners are probably going to go on a run. I'll pick him. I haven't even looked at his price quite yet, so I could be wrong right here. But regardless, there's no way the card sells for less than 44,000 coins. As you can see, we're going to get 60K for the player, make an easy like 10 to 15K after tax. It's simple. It only takes a minute. So yeah, boys, that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below for more ways of making coins in this game. Those are really just the easiest methods you can follow. Obviously, there's a couple more advanced methods in this game, but I would say that's kind of the basics and each of which can make you 75,000 coins in not all that long. That's going to do it for me. Have a wonderful day, boys. I'm out. Love y'all. Peace.